this area, about 20, 25% of uh, people have seasonal allergies of one time or another. This time of the year, they're usually the worst with the tree pollen. And then uh, grass pollen starts in uh, mid-June and continues through most of the summer. Seasonal allergies are common. Uh, unfortunately, COVID-19 is common right now. Sneezing, runny nose, congestion, mild aches and pains, mild cough, they can both have that. COVID is much more severe symptoms. People have gastrointestinal symptoms, diarrhea, nausea. They have severe aches and pains. They can have fever, sore throat. Those symptoms are much more characteristic of COVID-19. People with asthma should continue taking all their asthma medications. That's very important. And even if people have COVID-19, uh, if their asthma flares, uh, we're treating them with the systemic corticosteroids like we usually do if they have a severe asthma attack. People who are immunosuppressed or have severe asthma or people who are living with people at a high risk then they probably ought to be tested. I've been treating a lot of my patients uh, via telemedicine. I think it's a wonderful tool. Uh, I really like it and the patients like it. It's very convenient. I mean, there are some limitations. Uh, I can't examine a patient. I can't skin test them. I can't do specific uh, monitoring uh, exams for their severity of their asthma. But for the average uh, patient who's a good historian, it's a it's wonderful tool and I hope that it continues after the COVID epidemic uh, has passed.